See how this one car does on lap number one of three. Three qualifying laps around here at Kuryala. And 14th for Julia Noseva on the first lap. Definitely not what she was looking for. Noseva said this car is capable of shooting for the pole. And this lap's looking a lot better. Second quick come through the first two turns. There we go. Up to up to first there. Back to second. Back to first on this one car. If she can hold on, it'll be an all Jeff Sesnick racing front row in this Colton Morel Nova. There's been a lot of rumors surrounding this one car that uh, there may be a new sponsorship for it and that Julia Nosova herself may not be driving for Jeff Sesnick next year. However, I'm not putting much stock in those rumors. Nosova and Sesnick, uh, they go back away. So I would be very surprised to see Julia Nosova step out of this one car. Oh, back down to second, down this long straightaway in the back. We're going to see if she's going to be able to climb back up to the pole. Uh, Alexis Rainsford, her teammate, ran a 145.531. Noseva just needs to beat that and put herself back on the pole. And she's doing it right now. There we go. Back to first. She's doing a lot better than what Rainsford did. Rainsford and almost everybody else slowed down a bit in there. So that's put Noseva not only in first... But this run, this lap she's having, is not only a, a pole run, but she's running for the track record right now, which is a 145.491, which was set here last year by Leonid Roderick. Coming off the final turn, this is going to be close. Ooh, track record, track record. Can't you get it? No, so we're coming to the line. It's going to be really close. 145.477, Julian Noseva not only wins the pole, but the new track record.